This kind of mistakes cost you thousands of dollars, so I do beg you, please do not make them. Hi, my name is Andrew, the founder of Flowing Email Marketing Agency, as well as this YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll show you the seven most common mistakes people make in their abandoned cart flow. You might think, yeah, it sounds good, but it's not me. Trust me. After I list all of them, just make sure, double check, go to your account, double check, make sure everything is set correctly. Because even the best of the best of the best, I'll show you <laughs> the, the, the top brands, the trending brands, popular brands, who's still making uh, those mistakes, who has a lot of money, who has a strong teams, like cool teams behind them, but they still miss this. So make sure not to make this the following seven mistakes. So the first one is a logo in your email. It's simple, but it's m the most clickable area in your email. So your company logo on the top of the email. Currently, you probably have linked to your homepage, which is may might be good for welcome flow, welcome flow, welcome email. However, it's not good. It's a big mistake for abandonment card. Why? because the goal for abandoned cart to recover it and make sure they buy. So you want to send them back to their cart where they left off. So now I'll show you two examples, the right way and wrong way. So as you can see, as you can see this, uh, I will receive abandoned cart email from Liquor Loot and they have their logo right here. So when I click on it, it goes directly to the abandonment card and I can finish my purchase. But on the other hand, the brand called Fish Life does it incorrectly. So this is a common mistake all brands do. If you're doing that mistake right now, don't worry. Almost everybody does it. So, but it's very easy to fix and you should do it. So as you can see, they have abandoned card emails. This is what I left in their card. If I click on their logo, the logo is the most clickable place in the email and it goes to their what homepage. And we in abandoned card, we do not want to send people to the homepage. We want to send them back to checkout. So this is mistake number one. Mistake number two is use static subject line what do i mean when we set up the automation we assume we focus on that first purchase we want that person to buy so we assume that that they that person that customer that potential customer will abandon our cart only once in their lifetime however it's not true because our goal that customer to come back to our store and buy as m many times as possible because with each purchase they will become more and more profitable so if you set up the subject line the the same subject line for your abandonment checkout each time they receive it will be the same uh, the same subject line over and over and over and it possible that in Gmail it will be clipped. The emails will be clipped because of the subject line or they will be grouped together and your customer will see that they receive, let's say, five emails with the same subject line, which is terrible customer experience. So make sure to include their maybe product they left in the cart or the date when they abandoned the cart, something dynamic, not name, because they will still use the same first name. <laughs> but something related to the date to the product to the quantity to the dollar amount whatever you want but make sure it's unique so this is the common mistake number two not making subject line dynamic in abandoned card emails mistake number three is having one abandoned card sequence flow automation for all of your subscribers what do i mean so when somebody just subscribe to your brand just as a, as a male subscriber and they checking out product they add the product to their cars they start check out and they left so you're sending they trigger the abandoned cart automation and they start receiving emails so this is great but then if they buy from you let's say one and in two months they start ch check out and they do not buy they will receive the same the same automation 
and also if they buy five times from you and then one day they left the cart and they didn't finish their sixth purchase they still receive the same email and as you understand from this example, it's a very bad customer experience because you need to communicate differently to somebody who's never purchased from you and to somebody who purchased from you five times. Those are two different personas and you want to serve them differently. You want to provide, the message should be different, offer should be different and so forth. But probably in 80 to 90% emails I receive, I, I see that people communicate and sending the same, time of my message oh you left something in the cart we still have it in stock so we just come back and and buy 30 days later same same message 45 days later same message so make sure to customize your automation per subscriber one-time buyer and repeat buyers that kind of abandoned card automation will bring you higher return on investment and improve customer journey mistake number four is to use same hero image for all your abandoned cards. What do I mean? One year ago, I recorded a video about seven essential elements of email design. And one of the elements which is on the top is a hero image. So first we have a logo, then a title, if any title, and then we have a hero image, which is great strategy and design structure. However, for abandoned card, do not use static hero image. Why? Because if the person abandoned the car more than once, and it, it's very likely it will happen, they will receive the same hero image over and over and over and over again. And you do not want to do it. You want that hero image to be dynamic and show exactly what they left in their card. Just go, let's go back to liquor loot, uh, the example I showed you before. As you can see, it looks like here image, but this is the exact product I left in their cart. So it looks crisp, sharp. It looks like it meant to be. And I personally love it a lot what they did. It. Same thing if I go to Bird Dog, another great brand and great uh, brand to follow for email marketing is inspiration. <laughs> they do crazy and cool things and funny things. So as you can see, I left this product in their cart. So they enlarged my product so i can see better see what i left in my cart if they use static image i might order socks and they showing me pants which is kind of not personalized and bad, bad experience so make sure to use dynamic image for your hair hero hero block in abandoned cart emails so mistake number five is time delays please do test time delays for your abandoned cart. It should be between one hour to four hours to six hours. You can test smaller, maybe 15 minutes, but it might be overwhelming to your clients, but test from one hour to let's say six hours. I know uh, the industry standard is four, but let's do between one and six and see how your email perform. We found in some in some automations in some for some brands, 15 minutes might double your revenue. It sounds crazy, but split test that split does uh, just do 50 50 split put one hour versus four hours and see the revenue difference but general rule of thumb longer it takes to receive the recovery email the first email less likely it, they will convert so make sure your time delay for the first emails is a short one start from one hour and split test mistake number six this lesson i learned from ezra firestone founder of a smart marketer in one of his courses he taught us to hit <laughs> to hit the person every day with an email and that email should not be just generic like bye 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 mix it up with some kind of content value cross sell upsell but make sure to have a touch point every day so your abandonment card automation flow sequence should have at least as a minimum of seven emails i know to some of you it sounds crazy overwhelming and say i will not never do it I, i'm challenging you to just test create automation and do 50 50 split do what, whatever you're doing right now one email or two emails or maximum three which is typical 
and the other 50% set it up to seven email first email in one to six hours second email in 24 hours and hit them every day for seven days and see your conversion see your results and the most important nobody will complain that they're receiving two emails too many emails from you and the last but not least mistake people making is not including incentive discount in their abandoned cart so those people express interest in your product They're, they raise their hand saying i want to buy and you do know what they want to buy so give them something maybe in the first emails it's a bad strategy maybe in the second email it's a bad strategy to give them some kind of incentives because they might buy but starting from third fourth email make sure to provide something at least free shipping why if you charge for shipping this is the biggest reason why people do not finish their purchase because of the high uh, shipping rate or unexpected because of the Amazon Prime we all expect for shipping to be free if you charge for shipping make sure to offer at least free shipping in your abandoned car if possible offer them 10 20 percent discount if you want you can do letter start from with a 10 percent discount if they do not convert offer them something higher those are seven abandoned card mistakes i would like to learn from you if you made any of those mistakes after you go to your email marketing automation and check let me know what kind of mistakes you had and what kind of mistakes you fixed and if i missed any common mistake please leave under this video because i would like to learn from you as well and also don't forget to subscribe hit the bell button and like this video i'll see you next thursday bye